Indian chess star withdraws from Iran event over headscarf rule. Chess star Suwuma Swamiathan denied being part of the Asian Team Chess Championship to be held in Hamadan, Iran from July 26th to August 4th because of the compulsory headscarf rule in the country which she said violated her personal rights. She took to her Facebook page to say, I find the Iranian law of compulsory headscarf to be in direct violation of my basic human rights, including my right to freedom of expression, freedom of thought, conscience and religion. It seems that under the present circumstances, the only way for me to protect my rights is to not go to Iran. She further said that the religious dress code should not be imposed on players. Price hike gains new momentum in Iran. The price of gold and cars and the exchange rate to the US dollars reached record highs on the Iranian market on June 11th, while some social media users have complained about a new rise in the cost of housing in Tehran. Each dollar was traded for 69,000 rials, Iranian currency, on Tehran's exchange market on June 11th, while buyers could purchase the dollar for 67,300 rials the previous day. The price of one standard gold coin was higher than 25 million rials on the Tehran market on June 11th, marking a 4 million rial rise in comparison to the week before. The price of various models of cars has risen between 20 million and 400 million rials over the past 10 days. Attack and arrest of protesting workers of Iran National Steel Industrial Group. Workers at the Iran National Steel Industrial Group in Avaz gathered in front of the governor of Kyrgyzstan on Tuesday, despite the heavy presence of the repressive forces, to call for the immediate release of the 50 workers who were arrested in Kiampas Square and surrounding areas on Monday. Strike of Merchants and Shop Owners in Kemensha, Iran On Tuesday, June 12, the merchants and shopkeepers at the Javan Road Market went on strike and did not open their shops in protest of the high prices and lack of customers at the market in Javanrud, Kemenshe province in Iran. Workers of Kishwood Company protest against delayed salary payments. On Monday, June 11th, workers at the Kishwood Company in Kish Island demanded for at least 14 months of their unpaid wages by holding a protest rally. According to the protesting workers of the Home Furniture Company, some of them have not been paid for between 8 and 15 months, with two months of insurance premiums that have not been paid to Social Security. <laughs>